Hello, today is November 7th, 2022, and welcome to A Dose of Reality. This is my premiere episode, and this podcast is about the trials, the tribulations, the triumphs, and the victories of being a millennial in today's world. Today is my birthday, and I just turned 36 an hour ago. And As this day approached, I must admit, I was terrified because what would the year 36 bring? It wasn't about it being the number 36, I don't believe. 36 isn't one of those milestone years, but every year that we get is a blessing. The last few months leading up to this day have been troubled for me if that's the right word. I've had to deal with so many losses, so many heartbreaks, so many mental breaks in such a short span of time. And I've had to take a step back And just think of everything that I've gone through. All of those quote unquote losses to also celebrate my wins. This year, I opened a warehouse for my business, which isn't a small fleet. I also went out of the country for the first time and got on the plane for the first time since 2000 and I want to say seven. And This year, I also, just recently, within the past couple days, moved from a townhome or apartment, whichever you want to call it, to a home that I want to say is about double in size. And... I have been trying to work towards this move for the past two years and couldn't find something that was right for me until now. And this year I also had to learn to prioritize self-care. And what does self-care mean? Self-care doesn't necessarily mean going out and buying all of the expensive things, spending money on pampering and spa days and trips and clothing and 
accessories and restaurants. That's not what self-care is to me. Self-care is exactly what it says, caring for oneself mentally, physically, emotionally. That goes for everything from nutrition to your mental health. And this year, those are two things that I had to learn to prioritize, especially my mental health. I'm using this podcast as my outlet, as my release, as a way to get all of the racing thoughts in my head out to the world and a big part of it is my healing I've had to start therapy this year and it's the best thing that I believe has happened for me mentally. It allowed me to prioritize what's going on in my head to make sense of it all. And I discovered that I am still holding on the past trauma that I didn't even realize was trauma. And in order for me to heal mentally and go on and take the next steps in my life, I have to let go of that hurt, that pain, that trauma and there are many different ways of releasing you know what's holding you back but until you find the way that's right for you you're gonna hold on to it and it's gonna fester And trust me, that's not something you want to fester. Because when something festers, it ends up infecting everything around it. And that's something that I've had to deal with recently. All of these past traumas that I've gone through in my life all built up and built up and built up until they eventually boiled over. It was to the point to where I honestly didn't know if I was coming or going. And all of my days were running into each other and I ended up having to be placed on medications for anxiety for depression and my mental health journey is still far from over you can't heal years of trauma in the course of months and this is one journey that I'm looking forward to 
so that I can heal my past hurts so that I won't be the cause of other hurts for others in the future. This is my story and sometimes the stories of those that are close to me that I care about dealing with the journey the trials the triumphs and everything in between because at the end of the day This is my dose of reality. I'd like to thank you for listening to this brief introduction. And I'd like for you to stay tuned so that you can learn what's going on in my head and my take on this thing called the human experience in life. So on this day, my birthday, year 36, I'd like to thank you for listening. And Help me celebrate. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.